Ohio, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. Now this will be for the 21st to the 27th of February 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay, Scorpio. Oops, I wanted to jump out. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, it could be a Taurus. So far. Okay, now I feel like with the temperance, this could be a Sagittarius, um, I think all of the signs are here too. Now, um, yeah, as I was saying. So the temperance in reverse, this talks about um, you needing to do some self-healing. It's also about somebody possibly doing something in excess or there's an imbalance. Um, maybe there's no stability. There was, you know, they're not flexible. They're mature, something. And yeah, I just feel like there was no self-control, no patience and no balance. It left you feeling exhausted. It left you feeling burnt out, stuck, like just not what you sort of, you know, thought you were getting is what I'm hearing. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is about financial independence and looking after yourself. So maybe you need to work on that. I feel like at the same time, though, you're planning for your, for your long, you know, long term. Um... For now, though, you know, it's about reaping rewards of your efforts, you know, contemplation, um, having foresight, actively waiting, but making progress. Um, you've got the king of cups in reverse. Like, this person is not trustworthy. They are moody, violent, crafty, emotionally manipulative. Um, yeah. Okay. Not a good card. Now, let me just have a look. So the first card you got, I mean, whatever, you, whatever you're going through and you've been through, this was a spiritual lesson for you with the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus, like I said. Um, you know, I don't feel like you have the same values, the same expectations as each other. Um, but something happened. You maybe reviewed your options carefully. Maybe you made some unexpected changes. Well, they made some unexpected changes. Um, but I feel like, yeah, somebody was decisive, driven, you know, and made a change. Um, and I feel like it had something to do with drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, some sort of addiction, some sort of maybe they were lying, they're telling lots of lies. You know, they could have been um, 
giving into temptation, having unhealthy, you know, mindsets, bad habits, all of those things. I just feel like, yeah. And the devil card is also a Capricorn, so they could be a Capricorn. Now, I feel like part of, also part of the spiritual lesson is you needing to avoid people who lack integrity or have questionable motives. Maybe, you know, this, I feel like this situation was toxic and maybe you didn't realize that or you let it kind of go on maybe. Um, and that's part of your lesson is, you know, not to do that. Um, But I feel like you you had a fresh start. You know, you could have focused on your you or your person could have focused on money, abundance, career. Um, you know, I feel like something to make some money, um, happiness, uh, prosperity, comfort. You know, any of this, as well as a fresh start. Um, and I feel like that maybe that happened. It can also mean blossoming relationship but I feel like in this instance it was more about getting getting the money getting a job but also um a fresh start from this person now I feel like this person was very manipulating, they were very controlling, very cruel, they misused their power, um, communication uh, wasn't happening like very well, uh, which caused problems. Um, And maybe you also had a period of a lack of no communication with this person. Or if you had communication, it was probably nasty. And if they're the one who had with the addiction, it was probably them, but it could have been vice versa or both. Now, you've got the six of cups. So you're disappointed, but you've forgiven. And I feel like you were friends before this, so it's like... You know, you're a disappointed, I guess, because as I said, this didn't turn out the way that you'd hoped it would. I don't think you expected them to have some sort of addiction or, or whatever that was. Um, I don't think you thought it was going to be toxic. Or they're going to be manipulation. There's, or they're going to be manipulating, I mean, or controlling or cruel. Um, but I feel like, you know, you also were overcoming the obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Like, you both need to communicate clearly and concisely. And as I said, I feel like somebody made some unexpected changes. Remain objective, but you've got two new oh, got hiccups. The Ace of Swords is also all about truth and a breakthrough, you know, fresh start, making a decision, you know, um, success, communication. So I just feel like they could have come in truthful. Um, and then you've got the lovers, so it could be a Gemini, um, and this is about having values aligned and the strength of two people, um, in a partnership, you're sexually and attracted to each other as well, there's affection, you can communicate, um, as I said, it can also mean, you know, recovery from something, and I feel like it's recovery from this situation. So let's find out more. So tell me more about this devil energy.
yeah, they weren't going to fulfill your wishes. And as I said, you were left feeling exhausted, burnt out, stuck. And they could have been feeling the same. There was something that they didn't want to sacrifice, but maybe also you didn't want to sacrifice. But at the same time, you were stalling, resisting, letting go. Um, you know, it was probably just you looked at it like a missed opportunity, a distraction. Maybe they had lack of direction. They didn't want to break a cycle. Um, I want to know more about this Knight of Swords. What's that about? Is that about unexpected changes, sudden changes? What is that about? Getting a job, having courage. It's recovering from a loss. Pretty much says what I'd already said. And it had to do with their heart. Like, they, I feel like they really cared for you, loved you, whatever. They really, you know, this is about their heart chakra. So, you know, I feel like if they wanted to make a change, they took the action, they were determined, they will be successful. They will have victory. But yeah, somebody needs to become a bit more optimistic. They need to stop that negative self-talk. They need to forgive um, and release the pain. And whether that's you because, you know, I feel like there was this third party. And I don't, as I said, it doesn't have to be sexually. It could mean sexually, but it can also mean, you know, something that they didn't want to get rid of, like I said, some sort of addiction. Um, and they really needed to do some self-healing on that. And I feel like there was a tower moment because I just saw the tower card. Um, there was something, they had to learn the lesson. They had to complete the cycle. And, you know, it took everything inside them to do that. Um, but I feel like, yeah, tower moment happened. And that could have been, you know, you walking away or... or uh, yeah, something happened for them to... You know, because I don't feel like you wanted to walk away, but I feel like you know that you needed to walk away so that changes would, I guess, happen. Um, tell me more about this Five of Swords. Yeah, there was a lack of victory and success with this. Thing with this the way it was going like it was going um, if I didn't make a change but you didn't trust your intuition either but the truth came out Okay, can you tell me about the lovers card? Why is that here? Yeah, look, it was as I said, something happened, and it was like. It could, someone didn't want to move on, but they needed to because it broke their heart. And this, this one came out like this. So, you know, it was like, you don't want to move on, but you know you need to. But at the same time, you could come back. But you went through this heartache and loss. So is this a coming back together if he, he or she sorts themselves out? Pisces possibly. There was a lot of uncertainty, but you can have victory and success if they sort themselves out, like I said. 
but it's going to take strength. It's going to take Leo. It's going to take self-love. It's going to take healing, self-respect, you know, all those things. And getting rid of that third, that third party, whatever that third party is. Yeah, needing to make the choice though. Figuring out what's what's important, what's their priority uh, their priority. Because it's all about the future. It's about making choices, assessing your life, figuring out what's best and whatever's not, getting rid of it, really. Alright, that's what I have for you, Scorp. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.